Is there anyone in the church this morning that would lift their hand today and say, God, say, Pastor, God is dealing with my heart. I'm not living to be a Christian. I'm not, I'm not living a life that is in relationship with the Lord. I know I need to make things right. Would you pray for me? Is the one that would raise their hand today and acknowledge that that's you, that that's the way you feel in your heart this morning? That you feel like you want a change in your life? Would you lift your hand right up now, right now, right now? Change is being made. All right. All right. I'd like for the ushers to come. Help us prepare to distribute communion this morning. Remember Jesus said that he who eats this bread and drinks this cup unworthily is eating and drinking damnation unto themselves. And for this cause many are sick and some have even died. So examine your life and see if your heart is true. And if it is, we welcome you to partake. We're not going to forbid anybody. It's up to you to decide your relationship with God. It's my job to warn you not to eat it if you're not right. God's word says no. But if you feel like you are right today, then we welcome you to that. Amen. The signs of a healthy church is a church that remembers what God has done. It will build testimony in your life and it will strengthen you for what God does for you today will help you and strengthen you in your tomorrow. It's a sign of the healthy church.
good in Dilma, but I've been guilty of not serving the communion supper enough. But I would rather be guilty of not serving it enough than being guilty of serving it too much. Because I feel like this. God, when we come to partake of this bread and drink this cup, I really want to mean something. I don't want to be ritualistic. I want to be something. Lord God, that's something that we just do. But I want it, Lord God, to have deep, deep meaning. But I'm guilty. I'm guilty of maybe being too cautious with it and not serving it enough. But today, we come to the Lord's table. We come to it in appreciation of all that He has done. We come to it in remembrance of how good He truly has been. Nobody took the Lord's life from Him. He gave it as a ransom for us and for us all. He said, nobody takes my life from me. I lay it down. And if I lay it down, then I have the power to raise it back up again. Would you bow your heads with me and let us pray? Father, as we come and approach your table today, we do thank you for the work of grace. We thank you for the love of God that sent you, Lord, into this world. The God, the patience that you endured as you went to the cross. Lord, we thank you, God, for the tears as the strife were applied to your back, the beatings that you endured, God, that the stripes that you received. We thank you for this bread today that represents your broken body that was broken for us. And Lord, as we partake of this bread, we can remember that by your stripes we are healed. That as we take of this bread, Lord, we can remember today that if we've been wounded, if we've been hurt, if we've been bruised by things in this life, God, we can be set free from those because you broke your life. In remembrance of the Lord's broken body, let us eat.
cup. Lord, we have confidence to know that we have fellowship with the Father. That we can come boldly before the throne of grace. That we can enter in without condemnation or guilt. Because we are under your blood. Lord, we thank you for the blood that was shed on Calvary. We thank you for the blood that was applied to our life. That has washed our sins away. And that there is no more condemnation to those that are Christ because of your blood. In remembrance, church, of his precious blood, let us drink. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At one with God because of the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just stand all around with you. You can pass your cuffs to the out to the inside out if you will. And you come and collect your cuffs. We just received a text message from Melody. And she said, Can you please have the church pray for Elijah? He's super bad today. He's getting worse. He's in a lot of pain. I need intercessors to pray. Lord, because of your broken body, because of your shed blood, Lord, your people that are called by your name, Lord, we're Christian, Lord, we come together, Lord God, in signs of a healthy church. God, to attach our faith into this atmosphere right now, in one mind and one accord, Lord God, on behalf of Elijah, how do we pray, God, for you to break that fever? God, you to touch him right now. Lord, confirm today, Lord God, your word, Lord God, by causing the sickness to go in the name of Jesus. We declare it over his life, Lord God. We lift up the victory, Lord God, on his behalf in the name of Jesus. Right here and right now, Lord God, call that thing to go. Lord, we pray right now, Lord God, at 12, 13 in the afternoon, Father, we believe in Lord God that you release power.
But I feel very strongly today that there's maybe some here today that the word was released over your mind. And God said, amen, today is the day to recommit. And you had the Lord direct your life. You've had God speak to your heart. There's things you know that God has called you to, He's gifted you to do. And you've been sidetracked a little bit. And the, that word penetrated to your spirit. We don't want you to leave until we agree with you today. And I'd like this morning to have my ministers come to the front of this church. You know who you are. I've asked you to come. Would you come up and prepare to pray this morning? Amen. But God has spoke to you, and you know that today. God has given you something to do. We want you to get out of your seat and come today, and we'll pray for you.